It's Friday, March 17th. I'm Erin Guy with your news to go. A student at Palm Beach Gardens Community High School is facing charges after police say they brought a loaded gun to school. According to the school district of Palm Beach County, police were conducting a search yesterday for an unrelated incident when they found the gun in that student's backpack. In an email to parents, the principal said the firearm was taken without any issues and was not used in a threatening manner. Rescue crews will continue searching a quarry in Port St. Lucie after a worker fell 35 feet into the water. This all happened at Vulcan Materials Company. Kenneth Wright's family tells us that he was on an excavator Wednesday afternoon when he fell into the water after the ground gave way. Well, the law that restricts how race related concepts can be taught in schools is now blocked. A federal appeals court upheld the injunction against the Stop Woke Act, and it happened last night. And that November injunction found the act violated the First Amendment. The state of Florida wanted a stay of the injunction to let the new restrictions take effect while the legal battle plays out. The law bans instruction or training that may make someone feel uncomfortable because of their race, gender, or ethnicity. Weather-wise, we're going to see an awesome St. Patrick's Day and into the work week with highs right around 79 or 80 degrees today with plenty of sunshine, low humidity, and winds moving out of the south this afternoon. Enjoy it and have a great day.